there's something that has been bothering me for a long time. Um, a lot of Chinese people watch their child TV. I watch it as well. There's a lot of like show, like Cantonese shows and news by um, China, Hong Kong, and like a lot of them. Chinese drama show, television show, and according to a survey done in 2007, um, 53% of uh, Chinese Canadians watch Fairchild TV every week, and um, so it reached a lot of Cantonese and Mandarin um, viewers, and to be honest, like, Fairchild TV is, like, the only show I probably watch. Because I don't even watch English show as much anymore because they're just not, they're just not as good. Um, one thing that one thing that bothered me about the show is that I, I love everything about it, but there's one thing that I don't like is that they often have shows called uh, play all, every week by a show called Foundation of Love and Life, and I think it's just a lot of propaganda. Um, they play there on the station every week, and I think that explains why there's so many, explains partly why there's so many Christian Chinese Canadians, because, I don't know, that's what it says on the website. The Foundation of Love and Life is a Chinese programming ministry, a national Catholic television network. Um, their TV production, Fountain of Love and Life, is the first Chinese Catholic television programs produced in Canada. And basically, the show is to evangelize. I don't even know how to pronounce that word, but to reach out to more people so that they can know about God and all that kind of stuff. And every show, they would have something, uh, some really, um, some life story of some Christian, and they're like being really generous, or they overcome so much, and because. You know they believe in God. They are able to overcome so much in their life, and like, or how these generous people who have take people in their own home and, you know, and introduce these troubled drug users to Christianity, and all of a sudden, you know, they finally find meaning in their life. And every week they show stuff like this, and my mom watches, love watching it, and I think, oh my God, no, it's just so brainwashing. I I just don't. I mean, they have the right to do it. It's a private television channel. It's a cable. It's a cable TV. They have the right to broadcast whatever they want. But I just feel like, man, like, I know now why there's so many Christians because obviously, it's being broadcast on TV all the time. Chinese Christian TV, you know, Christian show from other places, you know, playing on television every week. And what are the type of people who watch television all the time? Well, probably people are influenced by the television all the time. That's why you have so many Christians. That's why we have so many people who are brainwashed in their religious belief. I'm not saying that all Christians are brainwashed, but I think it partly explains why Christianity and religious um, religion is still so popular because it's all over TV and they're casting a very positive light of themselves in TV every week. And you know, people for people who can't even speak English, for people who are living in, um, for people who only speak Chinese or who live in Canada, they watch the show all the time, and you know, eventually they're gonna start po uh, forming a positive image of these uh, Christianity, and they'll start going to churches because you know, it's they feel lonely, they have no place to go, so it's part of a community thing. You know, what what other choices do they have? Going to church could be a positive thing for them to believe in a community, get involved with other people who speak Chinese like them. And to be less lonely, and eventually they will start believing because why not, right? So that explains why Chinese people are so traditional.